Algebra 1, lesson 78. This one is on rational equations. Okay, so for example, here's 78.1. Y over 2 plus 1 fourth equals Y over 6. Okay, like I like to look mine vertically, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to put y, plus two, y over 2 plus 1 fourth equals, and I know this is weird to do because we usually don't know the equal. Okay? But let's go on and do that like that is, okay? And what we want to do is try to come up with a common denominator. So 12 works. That's the best one that all three will go into. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So the 6 times what would equal 12 times 2. So what I do at the bottom, I have to do at the top. So y times 2 is 2y, okay? 4 times 3 is 12 times 3. Like that. 2 times 6 times 6 makes 6y. Okay? Once I get it into this form, I like to write it horizontally. Okay? Mm -hmm. That may confuse you, but 6y over 12 plus 3 over 12 equals 2y over 12. Okay? You do not want to reduce or anything like that because then you go right back to this. Mm -hmm. Okay? So keep leaving it like that. Okay, and now what you're going to do is basically you have to see these as the y problems. This would be like 6y plus 3 equals 2y. And then you would try to get your y problems together and your numbers on the other side. It's that kind of thing, okay? So you have to see this fraction as a number, mm -hmm. okay? So here we go, all right? 6 y, 6 twelfths y and 2y twelfths, or 2 twelfths y, however you want to say it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring this over. So, 6y, 12, plus, this is a positive, so I'm going to make it a negative 2y over 12. Equals, and then since I bring this 3 12 over here, I'm going to make it negative 3 twelfths. Okay? So now, um, since these are both like terms, because these have the y's with them, what you do is you go, um, you have to do the uh, numerators. So, 6y plus a negative 2y, this would be like, Six elephants minus or plus a negative two elephants would give me four elephants, and so it would be four y over twelve. Okay, you would just keep your denominator always because you always just add or subtract the numerator, which is what we did, and then just bring that down for just a minute. All right, now you see this four twelves y. Okay, um, this is basically a fraction four twelves times y because the y is next to it. So since this is times y, if we want to move it across the equals to get rid of, so we just have y equals something, this times 4 twelfths becomes divided by 4 twelfths, okay? Now that looks funky, but just stay with me, okay? And now hopefully you remember that you can write this in a different form. So that's what I'm going to do. Negative 3 twelfths and divided by, I'm going to use the divided by symbol. And then I'm going to put 4 twelfths, okay? And now, hopefully, you remember that you cannot divide fractions. You're going to multiply them. So when you do that, this changes from 4 twelfths to 12 fourths. This should all be reviewed. Okay? Now we can multiply. But I'm going to cancel out first because 12 will go into 12 one time. Okay? And then we just go in and answer. So negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And 1 times 4 is 4. Final answer, y equals negative 3 fourths. Okay? Let's do one more of those kind just to make sure you're getting it. And then there's another part they're going to teach you. All right, here it goes. This is 78.2. So here we go. Uh, 2x over 7. I'm going to go and write it my, um, vertically. Minus 3x over 2 equals 1 third. Okay, and sometimes it's hard to come up with a common denominator, most of the time, if you can't come up with an easy one, you're just going to multiply. Um, so, 7 times 3 is 21. 21 times 2 is 42. So, that's a big uh, um, denominator, but that's okay. So, here we go. 3 times what goes into 42? Well, I'm going to do the math down here. Uh, 14. So, times 14. I have to times them both by 14. Okay. So now from here to here, I have to multiply by 21, by 21. So 21 times 3 is uh, 63. 
x, 21 times 3x, and make sure you show your negative right there, um, or a minus, however you want to say it, and then 7 times 6 times 6, so 6 times 2 is 12x. All right, now I'm going to write it um, horizontally now. 12x over 42 minus 63x over 42 equals 14 over 42. Okay. The good news is we've already got the x ones on our side. The 12 over 42x minus the 63 over 42x. So we have our like terms and then just our um, fraction. So let's go in and take this. So we're going to minus our numerator. I'm going to plus negative it, okay? So then that's going to give us what? 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, 62, 51. So we're going to get a negative 51 over 42, and we got our x's still, equals 14 over 42. And again, since this is a fraction times x, what you're going to do is we're trying to get the x by itself, so this times is going to become divided by it. Okay, and I know that looks weird, so that's why we rewrite it over here. So we take 14 over 42 divided by, and we're going to use that symbol instead of this bar, divided by negative 51 over 42. Okay, and then you have to remember that you cannot divide, you have to multiply, and then these reverse, 42 over negative 51. And the 50, 42 is not cross out, and the final answer is 14 over 51 in the negative right there. Okay? Final answer, x equals 14 over negative 51, and that will not reduce. Okay? All right. Now we're getting the third part of the problem, and this one's a little bit different than the first two that we did. Um, so make sure you're really paying attention. Um, this gets a little bit harder. I'm going to use a different color. I feel like that one's going to run an hour messing up. So here we go. This is 78.3. All right, here's what it says. 3y over 2, and I'm going to want to write it vertically, plus 8 minus 4y over 7 equals, and they just have a 3. So I'm going to make it 3 over 1 because 3 is 3 over 1 in um, a fraction, right? Mm -hmm. Now we have to come up with our common denominator. And hopefully you can see that it's going to be 14. 7 times 2 is 14, so that's going to be our easy one to go with. So now I take this and go 1 times 14 equals 14. So what I do at the bottom, I'll do the top. 42. Okay? 7 times 2. Now, see how I'm going 7 times 2 to get to the 14? Since I'm doing times 2 here, I have to do times 2 here. Now, this time 2 times 2 applies to all of that. So you're basically writing um, a distributive property, 2 times this times this. So um, I like to go in and do it in my head already. You don't have to, but you can. I'm going to go in and go 2 times 8 is 16 minus 2 times 4y becomes 8y. You see what I did? Okay. Now let's go in and do this one 2 times 7 times 7, and then that becomes 21y. Okay, now that I got it written down, I'm going to write it horizontally. 21y over 14 plus, now pay attention to what I do right here. You see this 16 minus 8y all over 14? Mm -hmm. I recommend putting it over 14 and over 14 because they're both over 14. I'm going to go and create them for both. So this is plus, so I'm going to write 16 over 14 minus 8y over 14. So I just took this 14 and applied it to both of them, okay? And then equals, that equal sign, and then 42 over 14, okay? Staying with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now, you have to see the ones with the y's as like terms, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to make this a plus negative. So 21 plus a negative 8 would be what? Uh, 13? I hope I've got that right in my head. 13y, okay? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yes, good. Okay, and now that's 13y over 14, okay? So I'm done with those, all right? Now, I'm going to go on, and you could just bring this down and then move it over, but I'm going to go in and take this and get it over here because I want to put my y on this side. 
So I'm going to make this equals 42 over 14, just bringing that down. And then this plus 16 14, I'm going to make minus 16 over 14. All right. Now leave this alone, and let's go on and do our like terms over here. Since these are both fractions, this one has a while with it, so we have to leave it alone for now. Um, 16 from 42, 26, 36, 4, 4, 2. 26 over 14, is that answer? We're just subtracting the numerator, all right? And then we're just bringing everything else down and over. Okay, now you have to see this problem as 13 over 14, fraction, times y. So we're trying to get y by itself, so this times 13 14 becomes divided by 13 14 okay? And again, then you come over here, I'm just moving to the other side, and rewriting this, 26 over 14, and then instead of this division bar, I'm going to do the division sign. Divided by 13 14, and since we can't divide by a fraction, you have to multiply, and this 13 14 becomes 14 13 okay? Those two cross out, become 1, and this actually breaks down 2. 13 times 2 is 26, so 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. Final answer, 2. So y equals 2 on that problem. All right, let's go ahead and do one more of those, and we'll be done with the lesson. Just make sure you're getting it. Um, you can even slow down the video um, and rewind it if you need to. All right, here we go. This is 78.4 x plus 1 divided by 4 minus 3 halves equals 2x minus 9 over 10. Okay? Now, 4, 2, and 10. Um, 4 times 2 is 8. I'm thinking, no, that won't work. Let's try 20 because I know 4 will go into 20, 2 will go into 20, and 10 will go into 20. So that's what I'm going to do, 20. Okay, so 10 times what? 10 times 2 gave me 20. So this has to be multiplied by 2 and all of it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. 2 times 2x makes 4x. And 2 times 9 is 18. And I have a minus under in there. Okay, that's all over 20. And then 2 times 10 is 20. So times 10, what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. That makes 30. And then times 5 times 5. Now remember... This 5 applies to the whole part of it. So I'm going to want to do that. 5 times x is 5x, plus 5 times 1 is 5. So all that, okay? Now let's write it um, horizontally. 5x plus 5 over 20 minus 30 over 20 equals 4x minus 18 over 20. Okay, I'm going to want to erase this. Now, remember, when you have this plus 5, and these are two different kind of problems, and you have a 20 as a denominator, I'm going to go and expand it and just put 5x over 20, and then 5 over 20, minus, and then 30 over 20 equals, again, here, 4x minus 18, you want to put them each over the 20, 4x over 20, minus 18 over 20. Okay, and I like to get my x fractions on the one side and my just number fractions on the other. So I'm going to want to do like terms. Um, 5 plus a negative 30 would become negative 25 over 20. That answer right there. Um, and there's nothing else to do over here. So I'm just going to write the rest down. is over. So this 4x I'm going to bring across the equal so it's going to become a negative 4x. So I'm going to bring this 5x over 20 plus and when I move this 4x it's going to become negative 4x over 20. Okay? Don't let that. Now let's take this one over here across the equal sign and that's a negative so it's going to become a positive 25 over 20. Okay? And then I have a minus 18 over 20. Alright? Now I'm running out of room, so let's uh, do this right here. So 5x, I've got my x here, so this is a like term and this is a like term. So 
of 5x plus a negative 4x makes a 1x. So 1x over 20 is my answer here. Equals, and then let's go on and do this, plus negative 18, 19, 20. Uh, so that's 7 over 20 for that answer. Done with that, adding the numerators. And now this says 1 over 20th times x equals 70, or I'm sorry, 7 over 20. So I'm going to try to get this x by itself. So this 1 20th is multiplied times x. Anything that's next to an x means it's being multiplied. So since this says times 1 over 20, we're going to divide 1 over 20. And that gets rid of that. So now what does my x equal? I'm going to go ahead and write it out horizontally. 7 over 20 divided by 1 over 20. Okay? And that's going to help me, so then I'm going to take this. I can't divide fractions. I have to multiply them. So that 120 becomes 20 over 1. And the 20's crossed out, and it becomes 7 over 1, which is really 7. X equals 7. That is lesson 78.